On the first night of Rosh Hashanah, it is customary to dip a piece of sweet apple into honey. Before eating, we make a blessing. Concludes with the words, Borei Perioites. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the Universe, who creates the fruit of the tree. Then we add another blessing. Yehi Ratzon, Shetchadesh, Aleinu, Shana, Toivo, Mesukah. Which translates, may it be a will to renew for us a good and sweet year. So in Rosh Hashanah, we eat apples and honey for a sweet new year. My question is, why specifically apples and honey? First, let's look at the apple. The Medrash informs us that the apple tree puts forth the nub of its fruit, even before the leaves, that will surround and protect it, all the way from the beginning. This reflects the Jewish people. The Jewish people, by accepting the Torah with the statement, Nasa Venishma, we will do and we will hear, placing holy actions and observance of mitzvahs even before we understood it, in a certain sense, we were imitating the behavior of the apple. Therefore, the apple has become a Jewish symbol, a memory aid, so to speak, to relive the moment of revelation at Mount Sinai. In order to relive this Sinai experience on Rosh Hashanah and into the each day of the coming year, please consider cutting your apple a little differently this time for Rosh Hashanah. During the year, we cut our apple typically in a vertical way from top to bottom. Please consider for Rosh Hashanah to cut your apple horizontally across the middle of the apple. For by doing this, you're actually exposing the ten green dots, which according to Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, reflect the Ten Commandments given to us at Mount Sinai. So now we dip the apple into the honey and we pray in this coming new year should be filled for each and every one of us with the sweetness of the Torah and of all its Ten Commandments. Now, why do we use honey? Now, there's a difference between the sweetness produced by an apple and the sweetness produced from honey. An apple is a sweet fruit which grows on a tree. There's nothing surprising about that. Many fruits are sweet. But honey comes from a bee, an insect, that not only we don't eat, it actually stings. Nevertheless, the honey that it produces is very sweet. In fact, the honey is sweeter than the apple. Similarly, in our life, there are two types of sweetness that we come up with. We have the times of family celebration, successes in our careers, personal triumphs, harmonious relationships. These are sweet times like the apple is sweet. But then there are different types of sweetness. A sweetness that comes from times of challenge. At that time, when we're facing these challenges, they seem to be very bitter and unbelievable, like the sting of a bee. But if we are strong and withstand the difficult times, and overcome the obstacles to our happiness, we're actually revealing layers of our personality that we would never have tapped into if we weren't being challenged. Something deeper is brought out when we're tested. So, we eat apples and honey on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, the first day of the new year. For we are blessing each other and ourselves that in the year to come, the apples should bring sweetness, and what the bee sting brings should be even sweeter. May Hashem bless each and every one of us to be inscribed and sealed for a good and sweet new year. Thank you and good yontif.